Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the choke thermostat on your engine, first make sure the engine and muffler have cooled. Next, you should remove the wire and boot from the spark plug to prevent the engine from accidentally starting. We recommend performing this procedure with little or no fuel in the tank. Use a flathead screwdriver and hammer to bend the muffler mounting bolt locking tabs out of the way. Now use a 7 16 inch socket to loosen and unthread the bolts. Pull the muffler assembly free of the cylinder. If still intact, remove the old choke thermostat. Before you install the new choke thermostat, confirm that the locking tab plate, bolts, gasket, and heat shield are in place on the muffler. Now position the provided inner gasket and the new choke thermostat on the muffler, along with the outer gasket, to allow proper alignment of the choke thermostat arm, we recommend removing the blower housing. To do this, use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the mounting screws, securing the engine cover. Next, release the starter rope from the retainer. Pull the cover off. Now use a 5 16 inch socket or nut driver to remove the screws securing the fuel tank. Use a 3 8 inch socket to remove the mounting bolt securing the tank to the side of the engine block. Set the tank aside. Remove the 3 8 inch bolt securing the blower housing. Pull off the blower housing and oil dipstick tube. Now apply some anti-seize to the threads of the muffler mounting bolts. Position the muffler assembly on the cylinder, making sure the choke thermostat arm is inside the air vane hook. Thread the mounting bolts and torque them to 7.5 foot-pounds. Bend the locking tabs in to prevent the bolts from unthreading. Be aware that the thermostat arm needs to be aligned between the markings on both the front and side of the air vane hook. Replace the blower housing, making sure the attached dipstick tube is inserted into the sump. Thread the mounting bolts to secure and torque them to 7.5 foot-pounds. Confirm that the spacer is in place on the fuel tank, then reposition the tank on the blower housing. Replace the bolt and mounting screws to secure. Realign the engine cover. Rethread and tighten the mounting screws. Depress the bail arm, extend the starter rope, and secure it in the retainer.
With the repair completed, reattach the wire and boot to the spark plug, refill the fuel tank, and your engine should be ready for use.